Hello students, my name is Marco Severo. I am a researcher and professor in Federal University of Goiás, Brazil. And this is the Marketing Analytics course. It is a result of an international cooperation agreement between UFG and IITGN in India. This is the video number one, lecture number one, and the name is the underlying theory of marketing analytics. Before uh, stating what is the underlying theory of marketing analytics, it is important to resort to the main marketing definition, which is from Armstrong and others. And they state that marketing is a social and managerial process by which individuals and organizations obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging value with others. In a narrower business context, marketing involves building profitable, value-laden exchange relationships with customers. Hence, we define marketing as the process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships in order to capture value from customers in return. Uh, this illustration is a conclusion of the marketing process inside the organization which the main output is to capture value from customers in return. So companies need to capture value from customers to create profits and customer equity. And inside the organization, there are four major steps and they refer to understand the marketplace and customer needs and wants and to understand uh, the marketplace and customer needs and wants, you need to conduct marketing research using internal data sets or experimental data and survey data, uh, primary data that will base marketing analytics decision. The second and third, third steps, they refer to design a marketing strategy and develop an integrated marketing program. And when we refer to these activities, to marketing strategy, we are referring to the four P's of marketing mix, of the marketing mix, which are product, place, price, and promotion decisions. The next step is to build profitable relationships and create customer delight. And this is done uh, using insights with a data-driven marketing strategy. The main output is to capture value from customers and in order to capture value from, uh, from customers, firms need to maintain the profitable relationships and exclude the ones that aren't profitable enough. So this is a simple model of the marketing process using and analytical insight beneath it. So the underlying theoretical framework of marketing analytics and compass or detail the customer and the market as the main outcome of the organization and the plans from firms, basically. Firms need to offer products or services for these markets and in order uh, to use an assertive marketing strategy with products and service services, they need to take marketing actions which refer to the four P's of marketing mix. To obtain and the main sources of information obtained from marketers, uh, from markets come from marketing research and internal data sets, but the main output from this framework is performance, or in this case, sales revenue, or another uh, measure of marketing performance, which uh, marketeer, marketeers are generally aiming uh, 
uh, these marketing actions. So this illustration, it basically uh, defines the framework of marketing analytics and the main outcome of marketing, the main inputs and the main outcome of marketing analytics. So in this first lecture, the final slide referred to marketing analytics defined, uh, which I am going to detail in the next lecture, but the definition is the principal focus of analytics in marketing is on the relationship between marketing mix variables that are controlled and performance measures such as sales or market share that represent the outcomes of marketing plans. Consider a simple marketing system where there is uh, little or no competition so that the firm and industry are identical. So the figure that I showed in the last slide illustrates such a simple marketing system and the system is made up of two primary elements, the marketing organization or firm and the market or customers. When you link these elements uh, uh, with communication flow, with three communication flows and two physical flows of, of exchange, and the firm communicates to the market through various marketing actions, so, such as uh, distribution of products or services, setting prices, and so forth. The customers in the market respond to the firm's actions through sales, and the firm seeks this information. So this is the basic definition of marketing analyt analytics inspired in the framework presented in the last slide. Thank you very much for your attention and this is the final slide of this lecture.